Hello everyone, my name is Brennan. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to create an ocean simulation. So let's get into it. Alright, so what we want to do first is start by adding the ocean modifier, if you're not familiar with that already. It's right in here. You can just add it right away. It's very nice to use. Just click on the ocean, it has a little fish icon there. All right, so this is what you get when you first add in that ocean modifier. So now what we're going to do is add it, edit these settings, change these settings up, try to make this look more like an ocean. It's kind of looking like a basic ocean, not really, not very detailed, not, uh, not a lot of detail there, of course. So um, I think what we will do is change the choppiness to two because it just adds a little bit of choppiness. As you can see already, I added a little bit right there. And I think we'll change the resolution. Uh, that will help a lot. We can see more detail as you add in more resolution. And the size, we'll go with something a little bit less. Maybe like 98, 0.98. And let's, let's add uh, repeat X and Y. So we have a bigger ocean here. And I think we'll position the camera now. Just press Control at zero wherever you find might be a good spot to position your um, to position your camera on this ocean now I think what we will get into is mm, well let's, let's uh, do a few more things random seed add some randomness to it um, spatial size I think I'll go with something like 31 yeah, that's looking good. Nice detail on the waves. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. We'll just go with the animation now. So what we're going to do is, first of all, set a keyframe at the very first keyframe. Let's just set this to zero. Let's go to the very first frame. Make sure you're in the very first frame. And put your mouse cursor over the time, this little area right here. You can also just click on right click on this and s select insert keyframe. But I think we will just do I. We'll put the mouse cursor over time and press I on the keyboard. And let me just turn on the screencast keys. And let's go to the very end frame, which would be 250 for me, and set this to 15, which I think is a good amount of time. So we'll just Hover over this, press I again, set another keyframe. And now as you can see, these waves are animating, which is very nice. But as you can see, the waves do not, they're not, it's not a constant motion. It's like fast and then slow. So at the end, it gets really slow. The beginning, it's really sto slow. So it starts off slow and then it ends slow. So what we need to do is go into the dope sheet editor. I think you can also do this in the graph editor. The inter interpolation mode, you actually can. So we can go into either one, but I'm I'll just go into the uh, graph editor since I'm there, and select on interpolation mode, and select linear. And now that'll make a constant motion, and it won't change um, like it was. It'll be constant just like this so there you go so now um, if you look at it it's all the same motion pretty much like um, it's, it's not changing from the end to the start or in the middle it and it's not changing like that it's, it's staying the same the same constant motion so which is great just what we want Let's move in the camera a bit so that we can cover up some of the edges there looks like it still goes above so let's lift it up so we can only see the waves okay so now that we've done that um, I think what we can do is add in the materials now so let's go to materials let's click to use nodes since we're using cycles render engine we will select glossy here and I used Beckman in the original uh, the original ocean that I created so I will just use Beckman this time as well we could 
probably use something like CGX. I don't know what is better, but I think I'll just go with Bankman for now because I used that in the original render. And here it is. This is what it looks like so far. It's pretty not too great looking, but we are going to add in an environment texture. So let's go find our texture. And I think I will add this in the description. Um, that would be 25. I think that was this one. No, it was this one actually. Okay, so just open up your HDR. I might add this in. I don't know. I have some. Uh, I might add it. I might actually add a link to a um, to a free HDR website where you can get free HDRs, which is great. So let's add, okay, so we added in the background. Let's go back to the materials for this ocean. And I actually, it's not a glossy material. I don't know why I added a glossy material. I just changed that to glass since I messed up there. So let's go set the roughness will be zero. The color, if you're wondering, the hex code is C E E one E7. So it's a little bit light, light bluish. So if you want to, you can copy that right there. Uh, pause the video and copy that. But let's move on to the IOR, index of refraction. Let's type in 1.3. That's what I used originally. I found it. I think water is something like 1.33 or 333, something like that. But I'll just go with 1.3. And I also, in the compositing, I added in, under the world settings, I added a texture coordinate node, as well as a mapping node. And I added these together. So generated into vector, and then from vector to this vector on, in, on the environment texture. And then from there, you can just control your your um, environment texture in the background. So you can rotate this. You can change the location, which I think I'll actually leave that. But I'll rotate the Z, the Z or Z axis here. I think I'll rotate it to something like that, or maybe something like that. And you can see all that grass right there. So maybe we'll just move it. It wouldn't be grass in the ocean. Unless it was the other side of the shore or something, I don't know. Uh, let's do something 0 0.01. 0 0.09. Right. 0 0.09. Yes, it has to be something like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Less than 0.1. So let's go 0.5. No, that's not 0.5. Okay, never mind. That's underneath the water now, so we need to go 0 0.05. Yeah, that's good. 0 0.08. Let's go 0 0.06. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Looks pretty good. Okay. Um, now that we added in the background, now everything, I think, is pretty much complete. So you can go ahead and go to the background image. I think I said this to point 0.1, so it creates a darker image. And I also went to color management and turned up the exposure. And that's what I did. Which can actually just... You don't even have to do this. You can just set this back to 1, and it looks pretty much the same. So yeah, that's how you create an ocean simulation. As you can see, as you saw in the beginning of this video, um, and it looks great. It's a pretty simple thing, but you can add um, foam and other things to it. But in this tutorial, I was just focusing on the main simulation of it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the video and I will see you next Tuesday.